Good afternoon, all of you. Myself, Professor Y. Venukarri, the Department of Electrical Engineering, SND College of Engineering Research Center, Yaula. Today, today, we will discuss the topic power system, different type of operation of power system, power system control. And uh, today, we will deliver or discuss the whole concept steady state stability. Steady state stability. It refers to the ability of the system to regain to its synchronism. Speed and frequency of all the network are to be the same. It's mainly ability to system to regain to its original state after the some disturbance will be occur. The disturbance are to be the two types, small and large disturbance, which occurs due to the gradual power changes. This system will be divided into two parts, mainly dynamic system stability and state, uh, transient stability. First, we will discuss the transient stability. In this transient stability, uh, it is the mainly ability of the power system to return to its normal condition after a very large disturbance will be occurred. The disturbance, the whole system will be stopped working. When large disturbance will be occur, large disturbance occurs due to the some types of removal of load and uh, three types of faults will be occurs such as uh, in line switching operations sudden outage of line line to line fault line to ground fault these all the faults will be occurs in transient stability and uh, so one normal condition will be occur and system will be disturbed. After uh, discuss the tangential stability, the next part will be dynamic stability. Dynamic stability it reaches the condition after very small disturbance and disturbance will be occur 10 to 30 seconds. This disturbance uh, will be very short time. It's mainly due to the different types of reasons such as fluctuations in load fluctuation in load and it vary according to the load. Uh, it will be mainly very short time, 10 to 30 seconds and system will be disturbed. The dynamic stability, it is also called as small signal stability and it reachable one condition after very small disturbance. The small disturbance, uh, time of period of these conditions will be very short according to the duration it's uh, only disturbed 10 to 30 seconds After 10 to 30 seconds it will be into the continuous state and this system is also called as small signal stability because the fault will be occurs or disturbance will be occurs very short uh, the time uh, will be, this fault will be very short and system will be, whole system will be disturbed. So, according to the of different types of stability, it's working and which faults will be occurring according to the conditions, normal, short or large, what will the durations of the time According to the this stability, short uh, short period of time will be occurred in transient stability. In transient stability, the dynamic stability, if the oscillation do not occur the certain period of time, means the input variable where it does not change its value. Means different types of wave, different types of forms according to the conditions a simultaneously system will be disturbed a system will be work a system working will be stopped according to this different types of regain and whole system ability to make its synchronism after make uh, its synchronism speed and frequency are the very same but according to the different types of speed or conditions or faults, 
system will be disturbed mainly it occurs due to the different types of loads by using fluctuations and whole system will be stop working thank you very much